Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure and this video today is to show the 2.0 upgrade to the ultimate all-in-one base. Thank you so much for your um, advice, suggestions and everything else. If you like what you see, come like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, come join the Discord. So first things first, if you want to build this, it's very straightforward. Um, there's a tutorial for that. Um, for the base of the base um, so everything you need basically um, from the middle part of the base to the production lines to the farms over here to the breeding facilities etc it has everything there's been a few things that I've added on which I'll cover in this video so we don't have to start from scratch again if you've already built the first one you just have to add bits on so let us go through those right now um, Let's just drop off here. We have the same farming little facility here. Some people wanted me to have a two, t sorry, two or three level high uh, farming uh, land. So uh, building a glass wall here and then a roof there and um, so on and so forth. You can do that if you want to go nuts with the farming part of it. Definitely do that. Um, I would be doing that with glass. But for me, you get plenty. You know, if you're off... Um, slaying creatures and capturing pals in this place, you'll come back and this space will be full um, to the brim of goodies, let me tell you that much. Um, another hot tip is to have two of these uh, crude extractors on one point. Um, how you do that is, and I'm not going to do it because I know they're going to patch it, uh, so I'm going to break this up to show you how people are doing it. So you can have a look at the middle of this bubbling part if you put one of the crude oil extractors just on the, on the, like, just left of the bubbling part, then you can put one just on the other side. It's very finicky and very fiddly. And like I said, I know they're going to patch it, so I don't want to include that um, with this. I know what they're like. They're not going to keep our joy up for very long. So that being said, let's get to this box and dump the stuff in so we're not heavy. So... Over here, people wanted to have their lettuce and they wanted to have their tomatoes. Uh, so here we have the lettuce patches. Over here we have the uh, tomatoes. We have the berries. We have the, the bloody flower, the wheat fields and everything like that too. So we've got all of the, um, the, the uh, farming stuff in, in that regard anyway to cover everything. I'm going to remove all the powers from the base uh, in a moment just so you can see it clearly so it's not this chaos going on so i'm going to jump here and then i'm also going to go through recommended pals for your base we can go through the god roles and all of those um, abilities um, that they should have um probably in a different video because it, it can get a little bit fiddly and finicky so <clears throat> our base is empty now ah oh, we can breathe again so what have i changed this is all the same, <clears throat> as you can see. You see, you don't need to change that, except for the ground. I've removed uh, those dirt patches, which I didn't particularly like. I thought it was nice, clean to have the uh, glass everywhere. Over here, we have the stone quarry. We have a logging one, because you will always need it. And uh, then, obviously, our existing power pylons, the super ones another stone one and the reason for that is because I like to build with glass and you know that glass in this is built with stone and um, paldium so that's why we've got this crusher here these two are your ultimate combo to make glass so I've got lots of that there so that's that part done the other part that I added to this was this uh, and thank you for the hot tip for those who talked about greenhouse you could have another level up here to have a second tier of a greenhouse too to have another level of the farming stuff there so you could have more berries or you could have more tomatoes la, la, la. so building one glass level across here right that would work just fine if you want to I like the height of this I like it like this. I like this fountain here. I think it's hot. I think it's lit. This part goes outside as a staircase that goes right out into the beautiful flowery land beyond, which is hot as. So beyond that, now don't forget to join the Discord channel and you'll get to see pictures of this. I'll take screenshots, etc. There's a little couch area. This is a really nice tip. Thank you for this one. This is amazing, which I didn't even think of at the time. Um, 
and this is a little vendor spot. Um, so the vendor spot here is this little stone. I made it stone uh, with a doorway. And here we put these sandbags here. And because we have the monitoring unit there, we can assign the vendor, the, the merchant, to stand here. So it's literally like your own little shop. If he behaves or not is a different thing. But he should stand there. You'll be able to go there. And also, you can even lock him in there. And he will be able to eat through the wall too, by the way. So I put that little table and chairs there. I put the food thing there so he can eat. And happy is Larry. Look at him. He's got all of this stuff in here, lights, etc. So that's a hot um, little aspect of it. So I quite like that. I think it's quite lovely, actually. Um, so the next part that we have is the top part of this, which is where all the pals sleep. Um, so up here we have a glass staircase, which goes up to the first level with the sulphur and also the coal you don't have to have it many people have said they don't know why this is in this part of the game um, when you unlock it in the technology tree because it's very late in the game and by that time you don't even need it but i put it there just in case if you don't like it put the um like the uh tier two level ore mine there that's what i would put there but i put it there just in case you want it so up the stairs here we have the hot springs, we have all the beds, etc. And then we have the view beyond, which is absolutely stunning. You can see it all the way out to the sea, obviously to the tree. Um, and you can see all this, the, the snow mountains, you can see the waterfalls, etc., etc. You can see the whole entire base. As per original design, up these stairs we have the monitoring stand. This is where you can assign that particular um, merchant to that sandbag within that uh, little vendor spot, um, which is great. So you could have a whole entire uh, shop front if you wanted to, which I'll get to later um, when we have a look at the medieval town. Okay, so let's have a little fly over. So if you've already done the first tutorial, you would have already built most of this. The things that you have not built would be this glass house, greenhouse um, section down here. Also, the other thing that I've added around the place are the uh, lamp posts. The lamp posts you'll see they're currently being constructed, so at night time it nice and lit, um, and that's basically it. So it is the best, in my opinion, all in one. Uh, base all in one farm right as I've said before we could build this and have it you know multi stories high we could have it 20 stories high and have everything you know we could have you know um, 20 breeding farms if we built it upwards but please keep in mind that these builds are so uh, intended for everyone to be able to build them and not to be a six hour build so if you want to go nuts it's pretty simplistic build it build it up build a roof, add the breeding pens on top of that, then add another wall and then add a roof and put breeding pens on that. You know, if you want to go that way, then go that way. But not everybody wants to be doing God roll breeds and stuff like that. So take this base for what it is, which covers everybody. It covers everybody for everything. If you don't like some parts of it, then just change it. Some people, like I said before, probably don't like all these uh, production lines, but I think they're great. They're handy to have. Um, I just wanted a base that was all in one, and this is exactly perfect for me. So let us quickly have a look at the pals I like to use at my base. Um, obviously, um, the Wandering Merchant is one that you assign. I assign to that sandbag. Thank God for that hot tip, which is great. So when it comes to your... Um, Let's just sort these out first. Sort them out. Let's bring on out four chickens. One, two, three, four, four chickens. We're gonna send those off over to the farm. We're going to send our, our wandering merchant. We're gonna assign that wandering merchant to the sandbag. Um, we're going to grab um, we're going to grab four cows, one, two, three, four. Remember, it's four per farm, so four cows. Then we're going to go across and grab four bee guards, right? And then we're going to stop for a moment. We're going to run up here, and we're going to go to the set work uh, priorities. So down here, the bee guards, 
You only want them to ever be creating honey. That's it. If they're doing other stuff, you're not going to get any honey. They're going to be doing um, farming and all sorts of stuff. So get them to do the honey and that is it. Click, 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 click. Quite easy to figure that out. Um, again, with the cows, they just do the milk, big deal. Um, with the chickens, they also do the um, harvesting type of, uh, sorry, the planting of the seeds. We're not doing that. Click that off so they're only ever on the farm, the end. Wandering merchant, let's turn his, you leave those fighting things on, but we're going to assign him to the sandbag, um, which is hitting the B. We're going to scroll down to the sandbag, which is here. And we're going to select him. That will allow him to go there, right? So over at the ranch, we're going to go up here. Keep in mind that if the pals are hungry, they're going to do that first, okay? They're going to go eat. They're going to go sleep. And that's what they're going to do before they go to their ranch, right? So click, 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 click. Then we're going to go to the ranch. We're going to assign the bees. One, two, three, four to that ranch then we're going to go assign the chickens one two three four again if they're hungry blah 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 dying to go to sleep they're not going to go there they do wander off they do stray it does not matter if you assign it to them okay that's why i built this particular build um, with this ramp because if you get this ramp and you summon them and you chuck them in that um plot that you want them to be at they're not going to wander off so some people are going, oh, epic, you don't need that ramp. Actually, you do, because then they don't start wandering off doing weird stuff. So, facts. Shut the door, let's have a sleep, and then we'll bring out the other ones. <sighs> the next build is going to be a glass castle in the waterfall area, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Don't forget, follow the channel. All right, let's go back to the summoning um, with other characters to summon to your base um, i like to have one pen king pen king is great to have he's an all-rounder you can see that he does two watering look on the right hand side two watering two um, handiwork two mining two cooling two carrying stuff around the place he's always an all-rounder highly recommend that one um, moving over to this section here we want to have um let me see you might have some different opinions i don't know um, Bushy's a great one to have. It does kindling, it does handiwork, it does the uh, sowing of the seeds, it does the logging. That's already one to just chuck in there for that reason. And two for carrying stuff around. Good to have. Um, also, having a look down here, we have these guys, Astagon. You can go nuts with them. They're great just for mining. Just chuck them everywhere. Um, we'll get two German tides. German tides, obviously, are watering dragons so they are great to uh, water all the farm land stuff that we have there um, and obviously two German tight ignis yes you can do god rolls for that one to have it as a four star blah 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 um, jumping down to lilene is a great one to have i would have two lilenes if you can uh, because lilene as you can see has four planting two harvesting three handiwork three medicine if you're into medicine uh, yes my pals are often sprained depressed and uh, tired that's fine so in regards to power get your ozerks you can only assign two of these to each of those super powered electric pylon things so one two so we've got four there um, and then i always like to have one um, off sided to do it too so that's a kind of um, I guess group that I like to have. There's another one that's really handy to have, which is Bellinor. Bellinor has four medicine. If you want to get into being, you know, a good Samaritan and healing all your pals, Bellinor is a nice one to have too. Um, and that's about it. So that is the base. It does look a bit crazy once you sort of look at it uh, uh, from a, an aerial perspective. It's not too crazy right now. As you can see up the top, there's 22 out of 31 beds. Um, just put the scatter cushions around the place, etc. Then you'll be happy. We can see they're sprained, weakened, depressed, fractured. So we can send our medicinal um, pal straight to the workbench, the, me the medicine workbench that you can put down there. Uh, put it wherever you want into this. I had it right here. So we'll go over to... Uh, 
Spell. Uh, spell. Mm, there we go, the workbench. Rotate it around, chuck it there. And we can assign um, a few of those to make those things, to you know, um, fix the sprains, depression, all that sort of stuff. So brrr, 15, go nuts. Um, and yeah, you can assign, go up to your monitoring thing. This is absolutely mandatory, I think, is having this work preference stuff set on. So here we could go, brrr, go down here, set two of those on there. Um, and then we can go down here and set two of these on there as such. So on, so forth, all good, um, and etc. So just assign what you want to all the, the different mines, etc. whatever tickles your fancy. So up to you. Actually, I actually want to put Bellinor on there. Bellinor, yes, yeah, she's good now. And then we could put Panking on the cooler box too. He's busy at the moment, fine. Anyway, you get the idea. Then when it comes to doing your breeding, grab whatever two you want out, chuck them at the breeding farm. As I said, they do wander off. They do, uh, at the moment, have been known to disappear when you've been using the monitoring box. So if you assign two different pals to um, one of the breeding pens, they'll just vanish sometimes. Um, wait for the patch, I guess, for that. That's why I like to have this ramp. I'll summon the pal through here. I'll grab him like this and then I'll run straight over and I'll just chuck them straight in the breeding pit and they're not going to go anywhere then see bang they're there they will not go wandering off to eat stuff etc which is a bonus so that is update build 2.0 remember to put your crude oil extractor back on this um, and again you know if you want to have a crazy crude oil farm there's plenty of spots in this area to put them down like I said, this base is a, it's an all-in-one base. You don't have to have bases strewn across the entire land. It's everything you need is here. That was the intention. Um, and for people that found this slow, you can always speed up um, the tutorials. But keep in mind that there are people that are quite young that play this game and people that don't learn as quick as what you might. So keep that in mind um, when you watch the tutorials. Anyway, speed it up like I do. I like to play it in one and a half times the speed. I love and leave you. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, thank you for watching.